All right. Thanks, Ty. Still can't believe there's snowflakes on your forecast. New tonight is with most things in 2020. Halloween did look a bit different this year for families because of the pandemic. As Fox 17's Marisa Overly explains, researchers at Michigan State say today could predict what the rest of the holiday season might look like. New data from MSU suggests just 26% of people took part in some type of Halloween activity this year. Local and state health officials emphasizing safety as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. This neighborhood here in Grand Rapids says it found a way to do both. This Halloween. What do you say? Trick or treat? It's the treats performing tricks in Grand Rapids. Homeowners in the city's Cherry Hill neighborhood using six foot long shoots to pass out candy. I believe over 30 in the neighborhood. Mike Colehouse says he saw the idea on Instagram. Instagram about a month ago and not wanting the holiday to be ruined for his daughter. He partnered with two local businesses to create them. I think it just makes people feel more comfortable. Uh, this is a time uh, with the pandemic where people are really trying to find normalcy and I, I hope this is a way that we can deliver that. But despite people out Saturday, research suggests COVID-19 affected Halloween. And unfortunately, what we found was that about Half as many people are anticipating uh, spending Halloween the same way that they usually do. Dr. Trey Malone is an assistant professor at Michigan State University who surveyed 1,000 households across the country about the holiday this year. It found lower engagement in typical activities and more uncertainty around Halloween plans, adding to the virus's overall social and economic toll on the country. I think all uh, questions about what is uh, normal or acceptable protocol has come into to question. He says it's likely these trends will impact other holidays. I think, you know, if we if we want to look forward into uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, that uncertainty is probably going to stay there. I think that's going to disrupt a lot of the, the plans for industries who uh, who rely on on demand from from these uh, these high level, high profile holiday events. Cole House says that the neighborhood hopes to use those shoots for future holidays like Christmas and Easter, saying it could be a fun thing for the area to do. I'm reporting in Grand Rapids, Marisa Overly, Fox 17.